Right, now we've printed our tree, we might want to make that tree print look more readable so we can understand what's happening. There is an element about that, and some information about that in question 12 of the frequently asked questions, which shows how to translate the node names which are printed out here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, actually into the name of the node. So we could incorporate that code by pasting that array template in here and all we've got to do is we copy the names of the enumerated data types which we might want to put in here. So now what we've got to do here is just put some quotes around these names there's actually a feature in Emacs control XNN which says I want to narrow the window and just edit this bit. So what I can just do is put a comma in there and replace a string comma by quote comma space. No, I don't want to do that. Quote space. I want to edit comma space and replace it with quote comma space quote and then I put the matching close quote on the end and then just control X N W widen it and now I basically made that list of node names into strings which I can now use. So how could I use that? Well I go to print tree routine here so instead of printing the node identifier I can now print as it shows in here the node name of the identifier. And I can print that as a string. One thing I have to be careful of doing is actually check that the node identifier is actually in the bounds of the tree. So if node identifier is less than zero or greater than the size of the array then we probably don't want to print a string we want to print No node identifier whose number is the number. So that's called more defensive programming. So what we've translated that integer into a name if it appears to be one of the ones. Now the other thing here is the item here has some integer values and um, one of those is nothing so we can say if t item is equal to nothing 
we could print nothing or we could actually print we could do the other thing if it's not equal to nothing then we print it otherwise we go on and print the node identifier so we could print the space there and we could take the space out there now here it's a value and actually we could go and on and look what value type it is so we could elaborate that a bit more so we could say if t node identifier is equal to and it could be equal to so we've got a number or an identifier is what we're looking for so if we go back up the grammar we could see if it's number value or ID value we can print one of those values so if it's number value Number. Else, we could say if T node identifier is equal to ID value, then perhaps we want to print which identifier it was how do we find out which identifier it was well it actually tells us that here how do I get an identifier from the simple table we could copy that piece of code there we could paste it in there and now we've got that out there symbol table so let's try that out check that I've not made a mistake so I could run that file through bison I've only changed the bison file I could run it through GCC and build the parser. Okay, it doesn't know what item is, but it's okay. I just forgot to put the T in front. Run it through Bison again. Build it with GCC. And now I can run it with my test program. And now you see in the tree it says it's got a program followed by statements, followed by a statement, followed by an if statement, followed by a condition, by an expression, an identifier A, which is of ID value, relative, relop, an expression, an identifier B, an ID, an ID, and so on. And the number one is a number value. And there's one more fix I could do. If I'm doing defensive programming, I could check here that the item value is a valid number so it's got to be greater than zero and it's got to be less than the maximum size of the symbol table we can just scroll up quickly and look what that is from the symbol table definition sim tab size so it's less than sim tab 
eyes. And then if it isn't, we can say else. We can just print f unknown identifier. having a print tree that blows up if it's got some illegal values in it. Now the only other thing we might want to do is actually indent the table print um, by adding an indent level in here. But I'll leave that as an exercise for you to make it look even prettier.